What is going on my AMC apes out there? Today we are here to talk about some stuff going on with AMC and the potential short squeeze that can happen and some news that AMC has out and we got some information on the Fintel website about some huge purchase orders that came through of Fintel companies buying up the AMC shares. So guys, hope you're all ready for today's video. If you are, smash that thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Check out the links down below. Help grow the channel so we can get the premium version of Ortex or the premium version of the Fintel website. So guys, let's get to the video. And all right, first thing I want to say, look at those percent gains from the year. Over a thousand percent gains. That's why I moved my camera over here so you can see the gains over here, guys. I just wanted you all to see that. And I don't care what people say about here in the short term, how it's been down and up, down and up, and it could be down a little bit for the week. Overall, this thing is up a thousand percent. So congratulations to the apes out there that have held and are still holding. So we're going to go over some news that AMC has. We're going to go over the information that some institutional uh, buyers have on the Fintel website. So first thing I want to do, guys, is go over here to the Fintel website and show you what is going on here now. If we scroll down here, check this out. Institutional buyers is 352. Open positions is 146. Now, we've had people buying here on July the 1st. We got people buying here. Now, here is one, guys, that I did want to bring to your attention. I think this is something that's worthy of a mention. On 629, the PEG Invesco Dynamic Leisure and Entertainment ETF has a total of 5.986 million shares. Now, as you can see, all the other information here is locked because I need to get the premium version. So I don't know how much shares they had before they did this recent purchase, but we know as a total, they have almost 6 million AMC shares, this ETF. So if I had the premium version, we could get all the other information that's on here. As you can see, it's all locked. So if we get enough, of the Patreon group going, we will get the premium version of this or Ortex. We'll let the Patreon members decide. So I thought that was very interesting. If we get out here, I mean, there's some groups buying 70,000 shares, 25,000 shares. Here's one back on 628, a FSSNX Fidelity Small Cap Index Fund has a total of 2.77 million shares, guys. That is phenomenal. So just here in the last week, between you know that ETF and this index fund, you're talking a total of almost nine million shares between these two, you know, different companies. And now there is one right here too. Back on 625, the uh, small cap blend index fund institutional class has a total of 621,000 shares. Now there were some people back here that sold, bought in new positions, and things like that, but. Over the last couple of, like last week or so, these are the ones that have the biggest kind of share purchase to my knowledge that I've seen on here. And guys, check back here. On 6-1, the VISVX, the Vanguard Small Cap Value Index Fund Investor Shares has a total of 6.5 million shares. That is insane. That is just totally insane. Now. I do want to show you, if you go over here to the sellers, institutional sellers is 155. Now, you do see some people here, a couple hundred thousand shares sold. Uh, here was one 40 some thousand, 70 some thousand, 300 some thousand. But I'm not seeing any in the millions like we've seen people buy. And as you can see, this I'm already back in May. Like back in the May, I'm not really seeing large sell orders like the biggest one was like that 300 some thousand there and 200 thousand so i think that is a good thing to keep in mind as well guys that there's not near as many sellers as there is buyers so that leads to tell me that the apes are holding on and whether that means you're a you know and you know index fund or a small cap they're holding on to their shares too they really believe there could be a short squeeze now speaking of short squeeze we are here now on the Fintel on the short interest. Now, if we go down here, we can see the short volume ratio for every day. Now, this is very interesting. On July the 2nd, which was Friday, there was a short volume of 19.3 million shares. 
There was 89 million shares traded that day, and that gives us a short volume ratio of around 21% just for Friday. Now, if we go back to Thursday on the 1st, that gives us a short volume ratio of 24.5%. Uh, back on June 30th, 31%. June 29th, 31%. That gives you the overall how many shares are being shorted to how many shares are being traded on the market that day. So, I mean, this is, you know, it's hanging up there pretty high, above 20% every day. And some days it's even above 30%. So I think that is something to really keep in mind. And all right, here we have an article on The Motley Fool posted this morning. That's right, July 5th. AMC's new trick is brilliant too. Remember when some party poopers were laughing at AMC for offering the free popcorn to shareholders signing up for its Investor Connect program? They failed to see the move as a smart and cheap way to expand the marketing list for its business. Well, now the country's leading multiplex operator is using the same hook, free in-theater concessions to prop up its fledging on-demand streaming video business in its eyes of its best customers. AMC is offering members of its AMC Stubbs Loyalty Club a free soft drink if they make a purchase through the AMC On Demand this month. The math behind the move may not make sense at first, but once again, we will see the company making the move of its meme stock popularity to fortify its future potential. That I find very interesting, and I do agree with that 100%. All right, and as we dig a little deeper on this article, I find this pretty genius in a sense. Really, I do. So here he has, the disrupted is disrupting. A movie theater chain operating a streaming service may seem a little advised at first. Does AMC really want people to get more comfortable streaming from home? The answer is irrelevant. Folks are going to be streaming movies at home whether AMC is an active player in that niche or not. It may as well try to cash in on its biggest threat. Now, to me, I totally agree with that 100%. And as we know, what is the biggest threat of the theaters? Streaming, home services, you know, people getting to watch it at home, not going to the theaters. So what is a great way for AMC to kind of capitalize on that? Have them use their streaming services to get the new movies at home and pay for that service. That is so smart, guys. That is so smart. As we know, Disney Plus does phenomenal with their streaming services. Everywhere has streaming services now. You have like Discovery Plus, Disney Plus, everywhere is doing a streaming service. So why not, you know, have AMC have that as an option for brand new movies. People want to sit at home and stream it from their house. I don't see a problem with that because it's still putting money in the bank for AMC. I do find it genius. And they do say if you provide that service, you can go to the theater if you want to do that. And you can get, you know, free drinks, free popcorn and things like that for being a shareholder. I think it's truly genius. Now, we're going to see what happens here with the stock this week. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what is going to happen, but I'm truly excited to see what happens. Unfortunately, I did not be able to get in on this train, but as it comes down, man, I've been doing some research on this, and it seems like the shorts don't have much more time before they're going to have to cover. Now, as you can see, the stock is up 1,000%. Uh, there's people saying this can go to 150, this can go to 300, 500,000. We don't know where this thing is going to go. So comment down below. What is your price target? When are you planning on selling? And do you think that you know doing the streaming service is a good idea for AMC? And are you excited about those buy orders from the institutional buyers on the Fintel website? So guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Check out the links down below to help out the channel grow. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.